Hey, welcome back. This is going to be a real quick video, but it's something I ran into and I wanted to document. I'm working on the back end of the Comanche. I have the fuel tank out of it and I have the fuel tank straps, which were super rusted. So I threw them in the blast cabinet over there and I got them nice and clean, but now they need a little bit more work. So let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, here are the two straps that hold the tank in. Like I said, they were really rusted. I got them all cleaned up. Uh, this one here in the foreground has already been primed, a uh, couple coats of primer, a couple coats of paint. This one back here has just been blasted, so it's still in raw steel. But before I paint it, I need to do something. There used to be uh, mounting bolts here and here um, that hold on this cheap, flimsy plastic skid plate. I know it doesn't offer any protection, but I want to put it back on anyway but when I tried to take the bolts out, they just snapped off, so I had to drill them out. So what I did was I grabbed some hardware from my random hardware bin down in the basement, and I wanna weld them in, so that way it's like a captured bolt, and I don't have to stick a wrench up in there if I wanna take the skid plate off or drop the tank. Next day, everything's dry and uh, we are all wrapped up with this short project. I think there were two coats of primer, two coats of paint on the strap and it is finished. So now for the question I'm sure everybody is asking, why didn't you just buy new ones? Because uh, I found you can get a set of straps for 30 bucks or 40 bucks. Uh, yeah, and I could have done that. It would have been another 10 bucks, 12 bucks to ship it. So by that point, I'm in it probably 50 bucks. The answer is I just didn't need to. I had those straps. Uh, they were a little bit rusted, but no problem to throw them in the blaster and uh, throw some paint on them. So if I wanted everything to be in perfect shape, I wouldn't have bought a rust bucket. <laughs> or Well, not a rust bucket. I wouldn't have bought this truck to begin with, but that's part of the fun is just working on it. So you don't need to go out and buy brand new parts if, uh, 
the ones that you have you can work with. So hopefully um, that was a little bit helpful for some people. If not, thanks for watching anyway. I will talk to you on the next video.